doing today? Welcome to the Belsif Show, eh? Today on the Belsif Show, I'm gonna take a cruise in the old Van Aruski and crank some tunes. And friggin' right I am. I got some good stuff, boys. I got some Brian Adams, Wake Up All the Neighbors. Friggin' right. Hey, remember that one? I've got Hit Zone. We're going old school today, for freak's sakes. I got some Soft Metal, Poison, Ugly Kid Joe. Leave a comments below if you get some of this old cool stuff and if you're in my my era, eh? Some Def Leppard. Remember now? Friggin' right you do. I got some Smash Mouthy. I've got some Best of Dance Party. Two CDs, boys. 1996. Friggin' right. That's awesome. Titanic. Little gay. But hey, why wouldn't we? Thunder laughing on Judgment Day. Who the hell is that, boys? Leave a comments below if you know who that is. Why wouldn't you? Uh-oh, look at this. I'm getting into the old stuff. Much Dance 1999. Holy. 142 songs on that one, boys. But she don't look like she's going to play too good, so I'll have to check that out. Some Bon Jovi. Anyways, boys, girls, peoples, I'm going to stop showing you there, and I'll show you some more here in a bit once we get to where we're going. But right now, I think I might try this 147 homemade that I made years ago, and we'll see if it even freaking works, we will. Right? Let's see what we got in the old wonder cabinet. I know it's not going to work too good because there's part of a CD missing. It's got a chunk out of her, boys. See it? Right there? She's got a chunk missing, she does. But I'm going to try it anyways. Why wouldn't I? Does the van have a CD player? Sure does. I almost forgot, boys. I wasn't sure if it had one or not. All right, here we go. Oh, this is going to be freaking classic, boys. Girls, peoples. Oh, my God. Happy boy and girl. Aqua. Heat of the night. It's not playing. I wonder why it's not playing. No go on the play -o. Out with that one. Dance Mix 99, boys. She's going to have to be here. See what the first song is. Everybody. Quit that one already. <laughs> Let's put in some old school Bon Jovi, see what we got going. <laughs> oh, decent. Anyways, let's get rocking and rolling. That's 30 seconds, boys. Went out tonight and gave myself a friggin' headache, I did. Hey? Eh? Whoo, that old school stuff on CDs is good quality stuff, boys. Friggin' right it is. But, anyways, that's what I did. Cleaned up the van Ruski there. Went for a boom cruise. Ran to a few friends. How you doing, Sean? Hey, how you doing? Stopped by seeing Sean today. And uh, went by Brian's, but he's already in bed. Good night, Brian. Seen JJ outside, but uh, he was with his neighbor or somebody. They were doing something, I don't know what. But it's about 10.30. I gotta get a haircut, boys. Leave your comments down below if you think I need a haircut. Why wouldn't you? I would. Freaking right I would. But I didn't show you the rest of the CDs and I will. It got too dark too fast, it did. And don't forget to subscribe and like, hit that notification bell bar button. Like anything at all about this video because I don't know if I got anything for you, to be honest with you. But we'll have to see, we will. Hey, we'll have to take a gander. Oh, I better shut the stereo off, boys. Main shut off. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. Freaking right we did. Trim some bushes today in the yard. I'll have to show you that tomorrow. Did a lot of tree bushing trimming today. Hey? Got all the trees trimmed along the side there, cut off some dead stuff. Did this and that and the other thing. Washed the trailer yesterday, get that all shined up. Washed the Silverado, washed the van. Holy Christ, boys. I never stopped today. Holidays is busy. Great face. So I'm going for a drive to get my paycheck. Why wouldn't I? Hey, freaking right, boys. But uh, look at that. Figured I'd show you the bushes, boys. Get them all trimmed down, I do. They don't look too friggin' bad. Frig no. But anyways, let's get in the truck, get set up and get friggin' rolling. There we go, in the truck. Friggin' right we are. Gonna have a little vape a stickage. The old Robocock boys. Here we go, good to go for an hour. Friggin' right I am. Oh, I forgot my coffee. Oh well, we don't need that stuff, do we boys? Girls, peoples? Going for a drive to get the paycheck with Bill stuff. Why wouldn't you? Hey? Good old mortgage comes out tomorrow. I'm gonna get cocked over by the mortgage payment if I don't get the paycheck, boys. Yes, I know what you're gonna say, no. We don't have direct deposit at work. Hey, look, I got a spider in here. A little spider action, boys. Me? Yeah. Oh, where'd you go? I don't want you in my truck. He's gone. Hey? Eh? Doggy. Friggin' right he is. 
I gotta get the old Silverado plugged in too, because now I got a wheel sensor acting up. Frick, why wouldn't I? Oh, somebody put a pool in. Got a pool, boys. Girls, peoples. So today in Wyoming was garbage day. The big day of garbage day, boys. And guess what? They picked my garbage up. Freaking right they did. Freaking missed my freaking coffee. I can't believe I got my coffee. Fired. Oh, there I am. Oh, well, I'm going to have to suck on this thing a little bit more because I'm having some finger issues right now. Finger issues, boys. Girls, babies. Just so you know, back quite a few videos ago now, I was talking about taking the CBD gummy bears. I quit them about a month ago, boys, girls, peoples. Problem with them was for me was they're making me moody, eh? They're working, but at the same time, they're making me feel like I don't give two fucks. So I didn't like that feeling, so they're Gandhi. Eh? I stopped taking them about a month ago, I did. Just like cigarettes, I quit, but I still, like I said, sucking on this popcorn lung friggin' shit putting in my system that nobody really knows a clue about stuff but you gotta do what you gotta do and that's what I gotta do sorry boys just can't go back to the cigarettes this has been five weeks five weeks since my last ciggy so let's see how long it takes for the light to come on for the friggin wheel sensor boys because I should get about halfway to sorry and then it'll go ding, 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 and everything will pop up. And I'll stop by my buddy Ray's today, and I'll get him to plug it in, let me know what sensor it is, so I can change the son of a bitch. Or just unplug it, Hey, okay? Who the hell wants freaking traction control anyways? Traction control and stabilizing, stabilization controller for people that don't know how to drive. That's what that is. These freaking vehicles, they should be able to put a button on it. They off and stay off. Why would they do that? Why the hell would they? But anyways, I'm going to wander down here and get this paycheck. Let's see where we go from there. Well, there we go, boys. Paychecks in the bank of Ruski. Now I'm going to head over to Home Depot. I need to pick up a couple pieces of wood for the golf cart because I want to get the cushion made because it definitely needs a freaking cushion, boys. It wasn't. It's not so bad driving around Wyoming, but when you get somewhere with it camping, she gets a little hard on the old ass for Ruski. So we'll slide over there, grab that, and then uh, Bob's a freaking uncle. Well, all done at Home Depot, got my piece of wood and got my other two pieces of wood, okay? Put those little wire things on the golf cart for some armrests, but I want to add some wood to it so it's a little flatter to put your arm on, eh? And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Just a little pet peeve, eh? These fiberglass tunnel covers, I like them for keeping the water out of the back because I got a carpet back there. But they're a pain in the friggin' ass when it comes to loading stuff that's too long for the box because there's no hook near the handle to ratchet strap the lid down. So you have to yank the shocks off and just bring her down manually. And then, the, you know, it could just take off on me. Why wouldn't it? It is what it is. That's why some guys don't like these ones because it's a pain in the arse when it comes to loading up, boys. They all have their advantages and disadvantages, they do. So that's what I do. Why wouldn't I? I was gonna grab myself a coffee, but I got lots of coffee at home, so I'm just gonna wait till I get home, man. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Well, I'm back. And it's windier than hell out, so hopefully you don't get cocked over too badly. But I made the bottom seat without recording because it's too windy. But uh, basically what I did was I want to pad this seat right here, eh? So I took two pieces of wood and I screwed one to the bottom. And the top one I sanded down and smoothed it all off. So basically I'll get it covered now. Or if I had a sewing machine, I'd do it myself. But I don't, boys. Basically this is going to sit in and lock in. Just like that, eh? Friggin' right. So then once it's padded, it gives me a little extra more roomy. Nothing like some roomy, boys. But the only problem I got here is when this comes down, I only got like an inch and a half clearance. So I might have to get my upholstery man to do three inch, drop down to two inch in the center, and then back to three inch. And he can do that because he has a technology. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see what he says, we will. But anyways, there's a seat. I'm going to work on the handles now and uh, go from there. Freaking right we are. Well, there we go, boys and girls. Got the armrest on, I do. Hey, check them out. Friggin' decent. Already stained. I notched the bottom so that wire would follow in there with a the mount there. Put two screws down here and... Friggin' right I did. So there we go. Now we have at least a flat surface for our arms to be on with a little doodle doodad. And I was driving all weekend, these weren't too bad, boys. As soon as you get used to them, they're good to go. But uh, 
Still might just cut them off right there. I might. I gotta retouch up that too. Friggin' bend it trying to get to them. Then I got uh, the seat base done. I even gave her a coat of friggin' stain, boys, so she don't rot both sides. Hey, eh? so we'll get that dropped off to Mr. Ma, and we'll get him to put the old cushion rooski on her. Friggin' right. I'm so glad I finished them off. They look so much better. Thanks for the idea, Sean. Hey, me and you kind of come up with that together, didn't we? Right, right, we did. I used a deck board, just so you know. Not a two by four. And it worked decent. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like me and not doing anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now.